Today we're going to talk about how to keep your cell phone data plan at bay. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to be talking about how to keep your data plan at bay, meaning you don't want to go over your allotted data plan. That is a big mistake that a lot of people make that they don't realize that they're going over and they're using so much data. However, today I want to show you the differences between 480p and 1080p video and why you should change it, okay? Because 4K content on a cell phone is useless. So there's really no need for that. I'm going to show you first between 480 and 1080. I want to show you how much bandwidth it takes, and then we're going to come back to the conclusion. I'm running a program called Bandwidth Monitor, okay? And that's what this actually does. It monitors the bandwidth. So we're running at 1080p, okay? And I just want you to notice the tick marks on every few seconds, because remember, it's streaming, so it's it's buffering, okay? And and every so often, this is what happens when it first starts out. It gives you a, me, a, a huge burst, and gives you and and if you can see it is buffered up to this point okay you can see the 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 white line or the gray line that is there that's how much it buffered for the first section of the video okay now it's still buffering more as you can see each one of these ticks is another buffer to go a little bit further All right there's another one it buffered again if you can see that carefully that's another tick watch watch it again and you'll see it move forward again there you go. Move forward and there's another tick. Okay. So now we can see the bandwidth usage. So we're using about 2.3, 2.23 megabytes per second. Megabytes. And we're going to move this to 480p. Now look, we're nowhere near the 2.23 megabytes per second. We're in kilobytes per second now. And that was the initial burst. Okay. Does it look any different to you from the 1080? This is on a computer now. And we are clearly at 480p. And looks like we're averaging around 250 K bits or K bytes per second. About. Maybe a little bit more. 300. Oh, we've got a little larger one there. But it's still nowhere near the 2.2 or 2.3 megabytes per second we're in kilobytes per second that's huge that is a substantial savings right there so there's no need to run at 1080p on a cell phone in the car watching videos on a sh on a long trip you can simply just do this so have you decided which one is the 1080p and which one is the 480p can you figure out which one it is so let's just take a look at this one and it's fine. So this is set to 480p, okay? And this one is set to 1080p. Going from 480p to 1080p is not worth it in terms of bandwidth usage. And I recommend sticking with 480p. So that is how it's done. If you go up here, you can select the video quality. It's a little three, do three dots on the top right-hand corner of the video of YouTube. And that's how you can change the resolution. So if you guys can change your, your cell phones from 1080p to 480p, all your problems will go away. And that is the answer, folks. But at least you get to have the ability to watch what you want to watch at a lower resolution that doesn't break the bank. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time.